bad as you thought or could have been worse? It's pretty bad, Eamon. So inflation is going up by 5.5%, as Isabel said. That means in January 2022, prices on average across the basket of goods and services that the Office for National Statistics monitors was 5.5% higher than it was in January 2021. So inflation has now been above 5%, reaching successive 30-year highs in November and December and January. So 5.5% in January. Inflation was just 0.7% in January 2021, so a huge rise. And you know what? The thing is, there are a lot of people watching this and listening on GB News Radio will think 5.5% price rises. In the real world, prices are going up a lot higher than that. For instance, if you look at the average price of a litre of petrol in January 2022, it was about £1.45. In January 2021, it was £1.16, so much more than a 5% rise. And we all know, if we drive vans and cars filling up with petrol and diesel, that since January, prices have gone up again when we fill up on the core courts. And given those Russia-Ukraine tensions that you've been following this morning, we could yet see more fuel price rises. So there really is a cost of living squeeze going on now. Uh, And of course, we're very focused on that here on GB News. We can probably expect to see inflation go up further later on in the year, given all of those pressures you describe and the expected national insurance hike later in the year. I just want to ask your opinion on this kind of ongoing row, if you like, uh, stoked by the Bank of England governor, Andrew Bailey, saying that people shouldn't ask their employers for a pay rise. Downing Street condemned it. The chairman of Tesco's, I think unions came out. And now uh, the leader of the Labour Party has given an interview also saying that people should be entitled to ask for more money, given all of these well, Price e- except the, the squeeze applies to everybody, including employers. I mean, they'll argue, Liam, of course, that, um, you know, raw materials for them, all sorts of things are, are going up. And then it's just this upward spiral. Exactly right. I mean, look, it was a really bad look for Andrew Bailey, the governor of Bank of England, to say what he said. You mustn't ask for a pay rise or you shouldn't ask for a big pay rise. This is a guy paid about half a million quid a year from the public purse. So I do think it was pretty tone deaf. I, I wrote as much in my newspaper column at the time, not least because this is the same Bank of England governor who's been saying for months and months and months when people like me have been warning about high inflation coming, oh, don't worry, it's just transitory. We don't need to raise interest rates. It's all fine. We're the, we're the clever people in charge. Don't worry, your pretty little heads. This inflation is not transitory, absolutely not. And it was pretty obvious to lots of us that it wasn't going to be transitory. And as you said, Isabel, in April, we've got those energy price hikes coming. We've got a reversal of the COVID emergency VAT cut coming. So VAT is going to go back up across the board to 20%. Not many people have noticed that and those national insurance rises. But as you say, Eamon, and I'm really glad you typically eagle-eyed, in the fine print of this inflation data that I'm just sitting here at home going through, And of course, I'll be examining it a lot more at 1 p.m. when we're on the money on my show on GB News. But in the fine print of that data, the number that's really jumped out and hit me in my eye this morning is 13.1%. What's 13.1%? That's the increase in the prices for manufacturers' inputs, 13.1% higher in January 2022 than 2021. That's what we call supply chain price pressures when manufacturers, service companies are paying a lot more for what they need to make and produce the things that they then sell on to us. It's really depressing. Yeah, There's really huge supply chain price pressures in in the supply chain. Yeah, 